Morning world, Jippy Trev here. Oh, the intro. Hi, Jippy Trev here, and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. Hi, right, well, it's just a bit of housekeeping of what's going on, and uh, a few things that need to be said, and a few things that probably shouldn't be said that I'm going to fucking say anyway. But anyway, let's get on with it. So, wow, that was cold last night. That was freezing cold last night. It's just gone uh, 10 a.m. here now. I am finally down into a tank top, but I do have my Ugg socks on because uh, that was cold last night and it's been a very, very chilly start to the day. So, um, so uh, Rob Mofo, Fat Rob or whatever your name is, mate, um, saying about I should warn people about between changing jobs. So uh, I thought I did say that at the start of the video yesterday that uh, it was way too cold to be up on the uh, bus roof yesterday and uh, working up there. I don't like working up there unless I'm wearing shorts because that way I don't get my pants caught on things. And uh, well, I switch between jobs all the time. So, but as far as the bus is concerned, uh, I've got another two patches on one of them. Two of the patches were absolutely massive. Uh, the skylight I was thinking of putting um, down the hall, I just covered it over, just wasn't worth the drama. And uh, our summers here are normally way longer than our winters. And uh, I just didn't need that much sun coming down through there. So. Anyway, still a lot of work to do up on the roof, but I'm actually getting there. But we've got at least two, three weeks before any rain's around. So um, I needed to switch my attention back to the boat. Um, my new back tyre has uh, arrived over in Childers and I need to go and get it. Um, I'm not riding over on the bike and swinging around my neck and riding home with it around my neck. But uh, anyway, so it's arrived over in Childers, but I can't pick it up to Friday because uh, their business is closed. I can't even get it fitted at the bike shop in Childers because her hubby decided to go and have a car accident and I think she said something about broke both his legs. So uh, even though I can buy the tyre off them, I can't fit the tyre, get the tyre fitted over there. Uh, there's no other bike shops in Childers. My other choice is uh, Bundy or Scary Borough to get the tyre fitted. Um, there's definitely nowhere to fit it here in town or anything like that and uh, I don't think there's anywhere to get it fitted over in Childers. Uh, tire places don't do motorbike tires. They just don't. They're uh, they're a specialty thing. So anyway, uh, shout out, Robin Ruby Paul. Yeah, mate. Um, I did get your email. I did say that uh, yesterday that I got your email. Uh, I thank you very much for whatever's coming in the mail. Uh, things from the states to here, things from the states to get here usually take a good two or three weeks. Um, I don't think I've ever had anything arrived. Uh, under that time, it seems to be harder to get stuff from here to America than it is from America coming here. But anyway, um, as soon as that arrives, I'll, uh, I'll be doing the unboxing. And who cares that it's late for my birthday? It just doesn't matter. So, and also, mate, fucking insurance companies there, are, you know, like seriously, um, I, I have my own dramas with my own insurance company here. Prices just keep going up. They up my insurance from one year to the next year, $400. It went up $400 in the year. Uh, same as the rates, I think you guys call it property taxes here, we just call it land land rates. You've got to pay rates on uh, your land. Same thing, every year it goes up by at least $100 every, uh, at least every year it goes up by 100 if not more. I've been here coming on, well I've been on here just on nine years and our local rates have gone up over $1,000 in that nine years. So Paul, I really understand that. And uh, the fact that these assholes well, they don't even want to take your money just because you've got a few trees around there, so uh, which is a little bit crazy, but anyway, um, I really feel for you, mate. Uh, and with your SD cards, um, what I normally do is once I've got my files off this my SD, my SD card, uh, I um, and everything's ha I'm happy with that. I just format the cards every time. I just format the cards. It just uh, keeps them clean and keeps them simple. So if you have uh, got a program or whatever you can use on your iPad, just yeah, just format your cards every time you pull them out of the GoPro. So. Oh, oh my God, 4K 160, wow, fuck me, you sure as shit had a lot to say and don't you ever dare, how dare you call me a fucking meth head, you fucking low life piece of shit, how dare you call me a fucking meth head and tell me my brain's fucking fried just because I'm not the smartest tool in the shed, you know what mate, go play over your fucking trains. Um, tell me that the, the valve's fucking stuck, there's no way that valve's stuck, when I pulled that rocker gear off, and I rolled that motor over, and all the push rods went up and down, bar that one. You cannot tell me that, and with the rocky gear off, mind you, right? So I'm rolling the motor over. You saw in the video, mate, I rolled the motor over, and every one of the, those push rods went up and down, bar that one. Number two pot, 
left bank exhaust. Didn't go up and down. If that was a stuck valve, and I can definitely guarantee that's not a bloody stuck valve because the valves are sitting right. Um, I was running the motor with the rocker cover off. You can see all the other rockers up and down. That one, little to no movement. So if I take the rocker gear off and the push rod still doesn't go up and down, how can that be a sticky valve? Seriously. Uh, yeah, 4K160, go find another channel to watch, mate, and go play with your fucking trains. And how dare you call me a meth head? Um, I don't give a shit what people say about me. Um, I can cop a lot of abuse. But when people start calling me meth heads and, and telling me my brain's fried and I'm fucking stupid and you think I'm a fucking fake? You think I'm a fucking fake? Uh, there's nothing fake about me, mate. All right, so I'm not so smart. I'm working my way through the car, best I can of my uh, ability. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I don't, you know, if I upset a few people, by the way, I'm talking, I'm really sorry. Um, if a few people want to drop off my channel, that's fine. Just go right ahead. But there's no way someone's going to leave me a message this fucking long telling me I'm a fucking meth head, I'm a fucking idiot, and other things like that. I don't need it, mate. I'm not as dumb as you think I am, but I'm not as smart as I wish I was. Apparently more than once you've told me to do, uh, do a compression test. So I do have a compression tester, but the trouble is uh, it's not a screwing type. And I don't know how much money people seem to think I had to just go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a fucking tool I only need to use once. Uh, and also, 4K, K4160, whatever your fucking name is, where do you think I live, mate? I live in a very, very small rural town, a long way from anywhere. I can't just walk down the street to Bunnings. Just can't walk down the street to Autobahn. Super cheap, none of that. We don't have that shit here. Our local hardware, Kimmy, does the best she can, but she doesn't stock a lot of stuff, which I'll get to you in a minute, wartime. I don't live in a big city. If I want to go to Bunnings, super cheap, Autobahn, that's a 200k round trip. And it's pretty hard to do when you don't have any fucking transport. So uh, as far as, you know, telling me numerous times and I'm making up bullshit excuses why I haven't done a compression test and, or, and making up bullshit excuses and you're calling me a fake and I'm only doing this for attention, no, it's not, mate. It's not that at all. I am where I am. I'm stuck where I are. Um, so, yeah, don't be calling me no fucking fake and don't be calling me no fucking meth head. So, and as far as uh, compression testers, yeah, I do get one, but I need a second hand. And uh, I don't see anyone rolling down the driveway coming here to help. So I have to do everything on my own and it's just the way it is. So anyway, I've had my say. I'll leave it at that. Definitely not a uh, bent valve, definitely not a fucking stuck valve, nothing like that. Um, you may have just jumped on here fairly recently. Maybe you should go back a few early videos uh, when I actually got them heads. Those heads are practically brand new, fully worked. Everything in those heads was brand new, fully machined, fully decked. Uh, deck, I think he said deck 40 thou, um, oversized valves, oversized ports, everything. Those heads were fully worked and basically brand new. And like um, some um, JC or JB said, uh, someone said, I can't remember, mate, I drove 2,000 miles on this motor without any dramas and it's time to let go. And yes, cams do let go. I've got a cam sitting in the shed there that when I was having this dramas last year, got the motor all together, the motor was running beautiful, jumped in, done a test drive down the street, come home, pulled up, and next minute I hear this tick, 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 tick. There's this ticking noise. What the fuck is that? Anyway, it took a little bit to find out. Finally pulled the belly off and uh, yeah, within a state of like five miles or thereabouts, it literally took the lobe off, um, exhaust lobe off uh, number seven pot. Just gone, lobe was just wiped out. Now I'd been driving this car for two odd years with this motor, never had any problems, blah, blah, blah. And then after I put it all together within like a few miles, bang, it just literally wiped the lobe out. And that's why I had to go and buy a new cam, new timing gear, new this, new that and the other. Uh, also, I need the car running at the moment, even though it's not running right, it's pretty much in limp mode. I still need the car running at the moment for a few things, so it's not a case to just rip the valley off and have a look and do all that. Um, until the bike's back on the road 100%, and I'm 100%, um, the car needs to stay going at this stage. I've still got to go and get the bike tire on, then I've still got to travel around 200k round trip to go and have the uh, tire fitted up to the bike, 
So right now, the boat needs to be running, and that's why I haven't raced in and gone pulling valley off and pulling this. I'm, just, I'm not pulling the fucking heads off either, man. You know, you tell me I have to pull the heads off to look at a bent valve. I don't know where you got your degree from, mate, but uh, as I said, if all the other push rods are going up and down and one isn't with the rocky gear off, how in the hell can that be a bent valve? So anyway, that's my little rave on that. Um, Right, um, getting back to War Tie and a few other people. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, completely the wrong solder for the job. I was out here till after dark last night trying to seal up that uh, header tank and um, I got it all done and then I'd just try and finish a bit off and a bit too much heat and all the solder had run out. Um, I rang up my local plumber guy here, Bruce. Uh, he's our local plumber. He didn't have any silver solder on board. Uh, he's a plumber. Didn't have any of that gear here. Can't buy that sort of gear here in town. And he also said I need Oxy to even use it. So basically I was just stuck using what I had. This is, this is bigger than that, you know. You have what you have and there's no other options in town. And if you haven't got transport, you are pretty much stranded. Um, I, I don't think I need to do a compression test on the car at this stage. I think we've all come to the conclusion that it's fairly obvious that I've yet again taken another cam lobe out and you know, even to do uh, the cam on the motor again, it's the motor out. As far as I know, you cannot um, replace the front timing cover without removing the sump because of the way the gaskets are set up. Um, someone can please clarify me on that. But as far as I know, to replace the uh, front timing cover gaskets, you uh, actually have to pull the sump off. So basically to replace the cam, it's, uh, it's another motor out job. And I'm like, oh shit, really? But anyway, I did get, uh, I did, I think as far as I know, I did get the, um, the heater tank sealed up. I had a little bit of a go of it this morning. I've uh, filled it up with water, no leaks anywhere, but the real test is uh, when I pressure test it in the car, which I'm gonna do right now. So, like I say, not much offends me, especially in comments and that, people have got a right to say what they are, but when people start calling me a fucking meth head and telling me my brain's fucking fried and all this shit, you know what? Go find another fucking channel. I've got this temporarily set up here. Hoses are connected. I've sealed up all around here. Uh, car hasn't been started this morning, so this is going to be a cold start. Bring her up the pressure and see if she starts leaking any water. Uh, and also, K4160, whatever your fucking name is, uh, that was not fuel coming out the exhaust pipe the other day when you saw that video. That was actually water, you know, like H2O, H2O. Um, that sort of shit. Um, I've, uh, I did um, retard the distributor a little bit because uh, she was pinging a touch, so I've retarded the distributor as well. Someone mentioned don't drive around with a pinging. Uh, that hasn't changed anything. Well, look, we know what the problem is. Um, the exhaust valve, number two pot, left bank, not going up and down. So, Gosh, she sounds terrible this morning. She's shaking. Not a happy car. Yeah, it's starting to warm up. I think I fixed it. Using the wrong solder, the wrong flux, and everything I shouldn't use. Good, that means when I have to go over to uh, Childers on Friday and early in the morning to go and get my bike tire, I'll actually have a heater in the car. Right, anyway, well, I'm just gonna let the car sit there and idle and warm up and uh, come up to temp. That way I uh, know when she's under full pressure that uh, that radiator, sorry, that uh, heater, that heater core isn't gonna leak. 
um, fixed it. Wrong solder and everything. Blowtorch and electrical solder and uh, job done. Now, I don't know how long the job's going to be done for, but uh, like I said, I'm going to let it warm up, bring itself up to uh, operating temperature and uh, then it should be right under pressure and if there's no leaks then even when I turn the car off I'll uh, reassemble the heater box and put it all back together. So uh, work on the bus roof, yeah look I will get back into that. I've, uh, I'm at the stage now where I've uh, done a lot of the patches. I need to move the uh, other big solar panel, I uh, need to move the uh, CV antenna or either move it to somewhere else or change that whole line completely and um, get back into that but right at the moment I needed the boat back on the road. Um, it had been sitting here for like nearly two weeks, didn't touch it for two weeks almost and uh, didn't go anywhere. Now it's up and running again. Uh, can't get me bike tyre. Then I've got to go over to either um, Bundy or Maryborough, have that fitted. And then, uh, then it really is a case of uh, pull the valley off, I guess. And, uh, Get deep into the mud. I don't know what the, I don't know what to do. Um, you know, why did chew the why did it chew the lobe out in the first place? That's that's the real question. Like uh, the first lobe went on um, uh, number uh, number six pot, or anyway, second pot from the back left bank, same side left bank, um, uh, second from the back, chewed out the exhaust lobe. Excuse me. Uh, this time, same side, but it's chewed out, uh, second pot on the left bank, and same thing, chewed out the exhaust load. Yeah, I, I really, um, I'm a little bit of a loss as to, do I really have to pull the motor out again? I guess so. Do I chuck another cam there, or do I just... Go look for another motor. I don't want to look for another. Look, listen to that thing. Fucking beautiful. It's, it just hums. It purrs. There's no rattles. There's no clunks. There's no big end noise. It doesn't use oil. It's just got a chewed out fucking cam load. All right, go and have a quick look. Well, here we are. We're back at it. We're up to temp. Oh yeah, ow, that's hot. Good. No leaks. Oh, it's not even bouncing around anymore. You can definitely hear it. Alright, radio world, so apart from that little bit of a mishap there, um, I'm just going to let it run. Right now, I'm just going to let the motor run, build itself up, back up to full pressure again, uh, shut it down, come back, and uh, if there's no leaks, reassemble the heater box, put it all together, and hopefully I can sign off on that job and that part will be done, and I'll have a working heater again. Uh, like I said, as far as everything else, what's happening with the boat, uh, I honestly don't know at this stage what to do. I'm not a fucking fake, mate, and I'm sooner as shit and I ain't doing this for attention. You really think I want my car off the road and go for all this bullshit again? Um, I said, at this stage, I don't... Sh oh, no, we're pissing water. Where's that coming from? It's pissing. Uh, okay. Not a fix. Damn it. All right take all that back not a fix just one tiny just one tiny little piss hole right there damn it oh back into the workshop oh right our welds looks like i jumped the gun yet again and uh that heater core is not fixed but i'm going to get back in there with the blowtorch and some more solder and just see if i can get that thing sealed up I do have some needed shit there, like a few people said, maybe I'll... Yeah, so I do have some needed shit here. Maybe we'll give that a go. Um, it's not what I want to use. But right at the moment, um, 
I'm willing to give anything a try. And I don't really want to hit it again uh, with heat. Right, oh, look at that, just one, one little hole right there. Speed the shit up. One tiny little fucking hole is all it takes. All right, so to everyone else who follows my channel and uh, put up with me, uh, sorry I um, said what I had to say, but I had to say it, you know, like I said, no one's going to call me a fucking meth head without me responding, and no one's going to tell me that I'm fucking my brain's fried and whatever, okay? I'm not a fake, I'm not in it for the attention, I just want my car to be running and going. It's not too much to ask for, one would think. You know, I do this whole job on my own, pretty much. Maybe I didn't need this stuff enough, but let's get it in there. I know this stuff sets like concrete when it dries. It's pretty good shit. I have used it for other things, and yeah, it's uh, it's sealed up where nothing else would have, so. Let's get it in that hole. Let's keep plugging it. I don't want to put this back in the car. With a chance of it uh, springing a leak on me. Because then I just have to pull the whole heater box out again. And I don't want to be stranded on the side of the road either. Actually, what my plan is, I'm going to carry this piece of hosing. So if worst comes to worst, any time she springs a leap, I just un disconnect the lines. Just disconnect these these two lines out of here. Throw that line in, back on the road. So I will carry that any time I'm going anywhere. And, all, uh, and also my toolbox, a full complement of tools. Righty go. that's that. Now it's a case of uh, wait and see. All right, well, we'll give that a good half an hour or so to uh, dry and hopefully seal up, and I'll get back to you then, later. Right here, well, it's uh, about an hour later, and we're back. So I used a bit of that kneaded stuff, put it in the hole there, and uh, the car's been running, oh, I've been running for about 10, 15 minutes now. That's sealed up. There is no water leaks anywhere. I could actually say, I think finally, 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 finally. I've got this heater core sealed up. Finally got this heater core sealed up. Oh, right our world. So uh, I think I've got that heater core finally sealed up using all the wrong um, solder and uh, using a bit of that needed shit that everyone was telling me about. I, lucky I had some on board here. Um, I really think I've actually uh, fixed that uh, heater core. I'm going to run it a few more times, stop and start it a few more times, let it build up pressure and um, if I'm happy with it after about the next half an hour or so I'll assemble it all back into the heater box and put it back together. So yeah that, that bent that done. Freddy's in the mail. So I've already opened it but I haven't looked inside yet. Um, Certainly wasn't expecting this, and certainly not from um, Paul over in America. So anyway, let's see what we've got here. I have no idea what this is. Uh, bike leather with stink. Okay, we don't know what that is. We got a note. We all know I love handwritten notes. I'll need my glasses for this, so excuse me. Uh, hey Trev, this will go hand in hand with your cordless drill and sockets. Cheers, Al Bundy. Hey Al. What have we got here? Holy shit! Holy shit! Uh, I don't know if that's just packaging you stuck in there. Okay. Hey, these look wow. Holy shit! Oh, mate! 
Mate, you are so right. Um, with my cordless drill, uh, the chuck's been so small. Oh my God, this is going to be as good as having a zippy zip um, power, power bloody um, power socket. Oh mate, I never even, I never even thought of looking for these myself. Um, that's the trouble when you live out bush, you know, you don't go into your local autobahn, you don't see what's lying around on shelves. I don't really do much online shopping unless I know what I'm looking for. I would never have even thought of these. Al Bundy, mate, these are absolutely fantastic. I got there's so much I can there's so much I can do with these. These are absolutely brilliant. What a brilliant prezi in the mail, mate. It might they might only be small, but they are fantastic. Oh my god. Handwritten note. Nice little box and I love the stamp. So right, gonna have a little quick look over here, and then we're gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna get back to work. So there is no water leaking anywhere. There is none. So the secret will be is getting it all back into uh, back into the heater box uh, without leaking. Now this has obviously been leaking for a while because uh, my fan actually here is quite rusty. So this has been leaking for quite a while, and actually when I was driving, I used to feel like spots of water on my foot, thinking. Mm. So this has been suspect for a while, and then of course the other day when I pulled that hose off, I actually broke that fitting off. So. Having a break is probably a good thing because uh, now I've sealed up all the leaks. So anyway, that was a huge rave, uh, especially coming to uh, that uh, 4K 160, mate. Seriously, go find another fucking channel. I think you're way off tap. Um, and if anything else, and uh, we, it's just so obvious there's no way there's a bent valve there. If there was a bent valve there, there'd be lots more noise going on. There'd be lots more drums going on. And like I said, all the other push rods went up and down, bar one. When the rocker gear was off, still didn't go up and down. What the hell's that got to do with a stuck, stuck valve? So, and also, there was a little bit of moisture come out the back end of the tailpipe there a little while ago. That's water, it's not fuel. So you're way off tap, mate. And you know what? Go and annoy someone else. Anyway, uh, right here, well, so. Big thank you, Al Bundy. Uh, gonna love those. They are absolutely fantastic. Um, can't wait to use them. Uh, Riding Ruby Paul. Yeah, mate. Uh, hopefully your prezi will be here in the next week or so. I'll let you know as soon as that gets here. And uh, to everyone else, look, uh, I said I've got to keep the boat running for at least the next few days. I've got to pick my tyre up on Friday, Friday morning. I've also got uh, one of my subscribers, Danny, rolling up uh, Friday on his way through. He's going to drop in say good day, which would be really cool. He's been here a couple of times, even stayed here. Pretty cool dude. Uh, and then I've got to work out who is going to actually fit the tyre to the uh, rim, which means another either a trip over to uh, Bundaberg or a trip over to Scaryborough. Um, I've just got to grab the tyre first. So that's not happening until Friday morning. So at least Friday morning I'll have a heater in the car, hopefully working. So anyway, no more drips that I can see coming out of there. I'm going to have one last look. Rightio, uh, definitely no water leaks there. So I'm just going to let that sit for a while, cool down, and then I'll get about reassembling it and putting it all back together and having it back. I'm not going to film, I won't film putting it all back together. That's um, not really that interesting. So in our world, that was a very hectic rave. Um, like I said, I, I can take a lot of abuse, but when people start calling me a fucking meth head and I'm, my brain's fried and all this shit, you know what? I won't tolerate that shit and I will stand up and I will say, fuck you and fuck off. So anyway, world, um, beautiful day now. Another cold night coming in. Uh, my hands, yesterday, my hands, last night, my hands, uh, they, they cramped up and they were fucked. Uh, both my knees at the moment are in absolute agony. Uh, elbows just as bad. Um, hopefully in the next couple of days, um, I'll get back on the roof of the bus. So anyway, well, uh, like I said, that's my rant for today. It was pretty full on, but then again, you know, uh, when people start abusing me and call me fucking meth head and all that shit, you know, well, I do not hold back. So, anyway, well, stay safe, keep your knees in the breeze, and I will catch you later.